hand-sized specimen from the Tenke Fungurumu mine in the Katanga. Now what we have here is an underlying matrix of young dolomite, young master dolomite. And then we go across and then sitting on that would be a very thin layer of cobalt and calcite as an initial layer. Dusting that would be a powdery chrysocala formation, most likely botryoidal. Sitting on the chrysocala typically would be uh, waxy black botryoids of um, uh, heterogenite. You see the little specks on there would be the heterogenite. Now I suspect some of them would be uh, heterogenite and some may be malachite. So please look at my description. Now this almost an off green to brown material. We could be looking at colwezite here, but once again I do need to see under magnification. So all in all, quite a quite a, 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 a hell of a lot happening here. I think on my new format still pictures, you may be able to zoom in a little bit closer to have a better look at at the specimen. Uh, pretty much almost perfect on the on the whole face over here. So from a display point of view looking from the top down You'd have this effect and also a little bit of a, a, a Color contrast on the 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 classic color and the dusting of druzy quartz of course over some of the sections All the way from the tank here from Gurumu mine in the Katsanga. Let's just go a little bit closer here Very very interesting piece a hell of a lot happening on this guy to see if we can we can uh, enter him into the camera there we go there are definitely some little green crystals could be a, a, a whole variety of different minerals from paramelancana to uh, uh, vesigerite, uh, perhaps some gehardite uh, i'm gonna say malachite for the sake of ease